Hey, today I'm going to show you guys what a classic cardio piece looks like with my training partner, Joelle, here at my house and in the home gym. <laughs> Blakely has never been in daycare or goes to school yet or anything, and I love that because we get to hang out more. But whenever I'm working out, this is what I always prepare for her before my session starts. She gets snacks, she gets colors, she gets toys, she has all the toys in her room, and then I turn on a movie for her, and she is great. She lets me work out for my little cardio session, and it's no big deal. So today for snacks, try and give her a fruit, a fat with protein, and then like a carby snack. So today she has apples and pepperoni. I think I'm gonna give her some pirate's booty. She loves pirate's booty. And then I'll give her one more thing, just to be fun. I noticed if she has snaps and water and a movie on, she is a very happy girl. So every day I'll switch up her snacks, try and give her good food. Sometimes it's not so good, but hey, that's okay. These are her snacks today. I think today she wanted Bluey. Is that what you wanted? So she's gonna watch Bluey. Snacks are here, water's here, she has colors. And then I get to work. That easy. That's how easy it is having a kid. We have Bluetooth in the gym surround speaker, but the Bluetooth only connects with my phones in here in the house. So it's kind of a blessing and a curse. So I can never be on my phone when I'm working out hard in the gym. But the bad part is if I want to turn up the song, change the song, I can't really do that because it's stuck in the house. So my phone stays in here and now it's just time to set the gym up, get to work. Day has running in it. Anytime there's running, I always wear runners. So I've got my favorite runners on. I've got my list of stuff I'm doing today. And we'll start starting down. Okay, I always start with my cardio piece and then do my strength piece. If you guys want to know more about that, comment below. Maybe I'll give you a little sneak peek into why I do cardio first versus strength first, like most people do. But cardio first, the clock is always involved. The clock motivates me way more than any person ever could. So I always include the clock in some capacity. So today we're starting with two different five minute intervals. First one, zero to two minutes, I'm gonna do a 400 meter run. From minute two to three, I'm gonna do 10 shoulder overhead, five bar muscle ups. From minute three to four, I'm gonna do six sandbag lunges, plus six box jump overs. Minute four to five, I'm gonna do eight air squats, and then eight GHDs. A lot of riding. That's part one of the first five minute interval. The next five minute interval, zero to two minutes, I'm gonna do 25 cal bike. And then I'm gonna do 10 hang cleans plus 10 dips. Then I'm doing the same thing, six lunges plus six box turned overs. You better get ready to be a superstar, Joel. Oh man, I was born for this. It's like legit. This is Joelle. Couldn't have got third place at the CrossFit Games without him. So show him some respect. You could like him, follow him, hype him up in the comments how much you love him. Um, he's a full time worker man. Like, what time were you up this morning? Uh, four. Four a.m. Yeah. Works his real job, and then he'll come train with me from about eleven to twelve ish. Always is here, never complains. So this is what I do for relaxing. <laughs> 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 this is my lunch time. Yeah, this is legit his lunch time. But seriously, I couldn't have got third place without him. I need somebody. I've, I've had training partners before, and they were great. But but this one's the best. Yeah, this is the best. People complain. People don't show up. People are consistent. People are negative. I've never had any of those with Joel. The only time he canceled on me was New Year's Day. He got a little too crazy New Year's Eve. And he didn't show up, but I can give him some grace, you know. This is the what's on the menu for today. Joelle will join me for this cardio piece. 
because I've noticed when it comes to breathing heavy, that's when my brain will quit on me the fastest. Like, oh, this hurts back off. But Joel will be here. He won't exactly do the same amount of reps I'm doing, but he'll still work hard. I'll still work hard. We'll just keep each other accountable. He always loves it. Oh, yeah. We're always happy when it's over, and we're always glad we do it. But we don't always want to do it. Yeah. Joel, OG training partner. He's not my coach. I actually don't have a coach, and I prefer it that way. So when me and him are working out, like we literally turn on good music, we just throw down and work out. It's that simple. And also, I don't, I program for myself. So this cardio piece we're about to do, I sit down on Sundays and I program this for me and Joelle. I do have an awesome strength guy who programs strength work for me. I mean, we got a lot of stuff here. You want to see how I program? Leave that in the comments. You want to meet my strength programmer? Leave that in the comments. There's a lot that goes on here. But I don't have a coach. So when we're working out here at 11, 11 a.m., it's just, you yeah, just show up. Show up, have a good time. Don't complicate working out. If you lay on the floor when you're done, that's a good workout. Oh, yeah. And I was overweight, and I had already like started feeling like health issues and stuff like that. Very good friend uh, from church uh, recommended CrossFit, and I thought, man, I'm almost 40. I'm I was over 200 pounds, and it just it, it, like my mind was very intimidating. And then I started doing it, and now uh, look at me. Yeah. yeah. How many years? Mm -hmm. uh, five. Somewhere in there. Yeah. Cool. But he, he was on an affiliate, and then his affiliate closed down, and I had switched gyms. So he was here, I was here, I had switched gyms. We both ended up at the same gym, which was Hit for Fit. Yeah. And then after Hit for Fit, it wasn't the right fit for me. It wasn't really the right fit for him, and that's whenever we like built the home gym. I'm like, okay, let's just work out for here for a month. But at first, I was like, can I just get your program and whatever you're doing? He did. That's Can we just try it? Like, yeah. He was like, I see that you made it to the games twice. Just show me your programming. And I was like, better yet, just come work out with me. I'm always looking for people who are free, available, teachable, who are fat. And Joelle was fat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll notice, like, a good song will come on and Joelle will just dance. Or he's dying and he'll just start singing the song. Like, that's what we need. We don't need hardcore, push harder, give it all you got. We just need to have fun and work out. And Joelle keeps it that way. I, I told her, I, look, I kind of felt bad because I, like all the other elites, they're like, this is so miserable. I'm like, oh, you're dying. And like, this is too much to sacrifice. And I'm like, I have fun whenever we work out. Like, yeah, like it's, people talk about games training. It sucks, it's terrible, it's miserable. Like, man, I look back at our games training and we had fun. Yeah. The workout sucked. Don't get me wrong. But we made it fun. Can I make the comment you're you're about to work out in jeans? Uh, I've done it before, but not. No. <laughs> For the past eight years, I've I've always had long hair. And when I'm doing double unders or running, it gets stuck in my armpit. So every day when I'm working out. I just hit up with the French braid and it always does me good. So if you ever see me working out and I'm not in a French braid, it's because the workout is not intense enough. When it's intense, like the French braid comes out hardcore. Do you rock the French braid in the games? I do. But if it's a max lift event, it's not needed. Like at the Rogue Invitational, it was max deadlift. Like going from here to here, that's not intense. I could put my hair in a ponytail. Because every time it's in the ponytail, it falls out. But French braid, it's always done me great. So yeah, the games, French braid it up. So I love to braid. I braid my hair every day. And of course, Blakely hates her hair being messed with. So I've got all these French braid tricks up my sleeve. And Blakely won't let me use any of them on her. <laughs>
sure to look cool there. I'm going to open the dirt and work out. Because I feel like you build character when you're sweaty, hot, uncomfortable. We could have pulled off real quick, but it's kind of our reward. When the workout finishes, open the garage door and let the cool air in. I learned real quick, remember in the summer? Oh, yeah. One the time, Joelle showed up in the summer, and I had the AC on, and the door shut, and he was so excited. And then some way through the workout, I shut off the AC, so we were just drenched in sweat. I swear to God, if they don't work, what the heck? So the end, it was like, you need to do that, it's broken. <laughs> but I tricked him. So we'll do a 30 minute really high intensity, and then that's it for cardio. So we kind of knock it out. We're very intentional, it's very aggressive. And honestly, 10 minutes easy, 20 minutes easy. It's the last 10 minutes from 20 to 30 minutes that we improve. When you're dead, your heart rate's high, your arms are on fire, can you still pick up the bar? Heart rate's on fire, can you still run a sub two minute 400 pace? It's the last 10 minutes where I improve 90%. So that's why I do 30 minutes. Come games time, it's 40 minutes. But it's off season, so we get to take away 10 minutes of suffering. And that's what training with the third fittest on earth looks like.